morning i was checking the oil levels before starting and it seemed to be very low as usual engine oil is starting to leak so is wondering what's happening see this oil is leaking stupid ire service center people man every time i try to give this complaint and they'll wash it and get then we'll go to the service center and top it up service center is 5 minutes 2 kilometers <laughs> Good morning. Day seven of the ride. So it is already 10:30 now. We started off late because we just have 60 kilometers to go to reach our hotel where we'll be staying for two days to see the run of Kutch Festival and all the other places around. We just have a one hours ride and their check-in time is 12. So even if you reach prior to 12, there is no use. So we thought we'll stay around the bridge, walk in the lakeside. So my morning went for a walk around the lakeside and all that. Had breakfast and then slow start. Let's check the engine oil levels and it is low. So we'll go to the Royal Sol Service Station. Top of the oil and then leave. There is one issue about the Royal Enfield and one good thing about Royal Enfield. Issue is it is very unreliable. Any issue can pop up at any time. But good thing is service center is there even the remotest of locations. Somewhere here should be the service center according to the map. There it is. So the issue is top gasket and the o-ring of the engine cover or engine top. This thing is busted. Engine oil is leaking, but not to a point where we have to change it right now and right away because still another thousand kilometers is there for me to ride and then change it. So I asked him whether can you top up the engine oil. So when he checked the engine oil level, it was so damn low that he is like, if you mix new oil and with the old oil, it might create issues with the difference in viscosity and all that stuff. So it's like better to change the engine oil off, and you just have to ride another 500 kilometer before the service, right? So better to change it off completely now itself, and I will put in extra a little bit so that we will have a leverage to ride another 600 kilometers. So it's like, okay, fine, thanks, bye. So he changed the engine oil and the oil filter, and usually he made in. takes in about 1.8 liters he put in 2 liters of almost 2 liters of engine oil i know people out there will tell me that it is bad and all that stuff but desperate times call for desperate measures <laughs> Otherwise, I have to carry one liter of oil and then the way around the battle some kilometers, which will and uh, more than half of it will become useless. In another three days, we'll get to the tour, survey the 40,000 kilometer surveys, and we'll ask them to change the gas gauge, the o-ring, and all that stuff, but not change the engine oil. Ah, little piece of mind. Twenty-six, thirty-four. Roads leading to the white desert was so amazing that we took frequent stops just to admire its beauty. Another thirty more kilometers to go. This slow going very slowly. This is the slowest we have gone in the highway till now. It's like around eighty, ninety kilometer per hour. Just enjoying and soaking in these views. Amazing. मिल 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 जाएगा 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 आपने की की वेज में मिल जाएगी और बटर का मिल जाएगा, फिर आलू ठीक ठीक बैठिए अभी गरमा ठीक आई वांट टू ट्राई पराठा ठीक बैठिए अभी गरमा ठीक आई वांट टू ट्राई पराठा जो आलू पराठा का प्लेट हाँ, एक मेथी चकला का प्लेट जो उसमें स्टाफ ही आएगा ना हां ठीक है ठीक है चलो ये मत कर रहा We spent more than an hour in that daba having lunch. What was warmer than the weather was her auntie's hospitality. She made us garma garam aloo paratha and tepla and fed us until we were full. Refreshed and recharged, we continued towards our place of stay. One crash gave me all the chills. Every time I see, I come come to a complete halt. Don't know when they'll decide to come and knock you down. <laughs> Anyways, nice and heavy brunch done. Beautiful, nice aloo paratha, nice tepla. So we'll head to the hotel that we'll spend the next two days. So oh, off road. <laughs> Funny how Google Chechi works. Ooh. The network coverage in this area was not so strong, and hence we had a little trouble in finding the location. So we have checked into the place, freshened up, took rest for an hour, and then now we are headed to the main festival site. 
but it's just 20 kilometers from here and they have all stalls tents and all that we'll go there reach in half an hour check it out eat something and then maybe take parcel and come back it's kind of time getting cold i mean winds are cold 28 degrees out here and says in the weather app that till turn 13 and 12 in the night so that's why i wore all riding gears and everything and he took thermals and hoodies and all in his bag for the return trip i i wore the riding gear so this serves two purpose keeps me warm and offers protection also <laughs> entering the tent city entry car parking bus parking bus for mandvi where is bike parking man this tent city is a resort city oh but now you know that you have to take the right side 5 km oh this is staying place ha ah this is a full staying place resort kind oh okay so many stalls food stalls toran food stalls dormitory the whole place had all the vibes of a big festival the bsf jawan in the check post guided us in taking the permit to visit the white desert welcome to white desert dordo <laughs> Ever since I saw a few pictures of the run of Kutch when I was in school, it's been my dream to come here on my bike and to see this paradise for myself. It truly is spectacular and far beautiful than any pictures and videos of it I've ever seen. You look at that is salt. What is this? That is salt. Water is not frozen. That is salt. You look at and see. Little bit liquid. I know it's salt, but frozen no it is. No 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 no. This is not cold no. Uh uh. This salt salt flakes at. This is salt. Huh? Salt flakes. As the sun went down the white horizon, we spent some time taking photos and just soaking in the breathtaking view. As soon as the sun went down, the Ran Utsav venue just lit up, and we headed back to check out the cultural programs. check out the big food court in the festival venue we tried a lot of new charts that day including a wide variety of dabelis which itself is a dish that has its origins from kutch after having a dinner of charts It was time to wash it all down with a perfect cup of chai. The 
chai was a perfect icing on the cake to that beautiful chilly evening we then headed back to the place of stay and call it a day that's it for today's video i hope you guys liked it see you in the next one where we explore more of the run of kutch